So today I'm talking about a P0700 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0700 code? Well, it's a transmission control system mill request. And what does this mean? Well, a P0700 code is a generic code. And it basically means that the transmission control module, the computer that's controlling the transmission, is seeing some kind of problem with it and that there's some kind of issue going on. And so the first thing to do when you get a P0700 code is to check to see if there's any other codes. Because if there is any other codes, then that's going to point you to what the problem is. And one thing to note about this P0700 code is that it can be caused by many different things. So sometimes this can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot since there's many different things that could cause it. So be sure to keep that in mind. And so what are some possible causes of a P0700 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty transmission fluid. So the first thing to go and do is check your transmission fluid. Be sure that it's not low, that it doesn't look really discolored or anything like that, that there's no metal shavings inside of it. Some newer vehicles no longer have a dipstick, so you may not be able to go check your transmission fluid. But if you can, the first thing to do is go check your transmission fluid. Be sure that it's not low. And if it is low, then add some in. It's also possible that the transmission fluid and filter need to be changed. The filter might be clogged up or something like this, causing issues. If your transmission has really high mileage and the fluid's never been changed, sometimes it can cause problems if you do change out the fluid with new fluid. This might sound kind of strange, but really high mileage transmissions, some people will go flush them. They'll replace all the old fluid with new fluid. And then like a week later, they're getting a bunch of codes. This is only with really high mileage transmissions. If your transmission has low mileage or it's been maintained regularly, then you won't have this issue. But if your transmission does have high mileage on it and that fluid has never been changed, sometimes it could be better just to change out the filter, save the old fluid and pour it back in, or just add like a quart of new fluid or something like that. You can look into that more, do some more research on it. But keep in mind that does happen. If your transmission has really high mileage on it, sometimes replacing all the transmission fluid isn't a good idea. But the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty transmission fluid. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the sensor on the transmission. Depending on your vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this, there could be different sensors going on on the transmission. And if one of these goes bad, then it's going to cause an issue. Again, if this happens, you're going to get another code. So for example, if you're also getting like a P0721 code, output speed sensor circuit range performance, then you could go locate that output speed sensor on your particular transmission. So you could test that sensor and you check the wiring going to that sensor. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on inside of the transmission. And this would be something like a bad shift solenoid, the valve body, the converter clutch, something along these lines. But again, if this happens, you'd get another code. So if you got a P0746 code, pressure control solenoid A, performance or stuck off, this would be an issue with the shift solenoid. So you could go locate it on your transmission. You could take it off. You could do some tests on it, different things like this, check the wiring. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue with the transmission. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the transmission control module, or there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring harness going to the transmission and all the sensors and things like this. One thing to note about these computers that are inside of vehicles and all these control modules and everything is that they need a good stable power supply or else that can cause issues that could throw them off and just cause them to do weird things. And so if you do think there's some kind of issue with the transmission control module, it's a good idea to be sure that the battery is good and be sure that the alternator is outputting the correct voltage for your particular vehicle. If you have a multimeter, you could start up the engine and you could check to see what the voltage is at the battery terminals. And on most vehicles, the alternator is going to output like 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts. Be sure to look what your alternator outputs rated to be at, but that's a very common range. And if it's not outputting what it's supposed to, if it's too low or if it's too high or something along these lines, then that can throw off these computers and that can cause issues. Also, these computer modules need to have a good ground or that can throw them off. If you have a jumper wire, quite often you could jumper to the case and then jumper to ground and just see if that solves the problem because all these control modules need to have a good ground. Checking the wiring harness can be more problematic. It can be harder to do, but you can't be sure that the connections all look like they're good, that they're all plugged in. There's not a lot of grease on it or anything like this. You can also go around and just check that harness out and check to see if it got any damage on it or anything like this. Like I said, checking this wiring can be kind of hard to do, but if you can see any physical damage on it, like a burn spot or some kind of rodent got inside there and chewed on the wires or something like this, then that would be a very obvious sign. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue with the transmission control module or inside the wiring harness going to the transmission. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0700 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. 
this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.